on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. What kind of drink do you want? So she's always got that perky attitude wherever you go. But black women don't do that. If a black woman comes to your table and she if she's upset about something, yeah, we um that ain't on the menu. And it could be a fine dime. It, listen, I've been through this. So the beauty of the pick me is, is that they understand the overall business goal, uh, whether that's the marriage or whether that is the restaurant or et cetera. And black women, yes, uh, not and again, not all black women are like my example, and not all white women are perky either. But what I'm saying is, is that <clears throat> black women, particularly, uh, especially if you're young, you're gonna have to embrace that concept of professionalism. It doesn't matter if you're upset. I, I, we don't give a shit about that. Oh yeah, you just raw, man. No, no man want no chick with a raw attitude. We want you to at listen. You may not like making sandwiches and bringing me uh, a beer, but at least pretend to do it. Make me happy, or and and I mean me as all men. Make us happy. Pretend to do it. That is the pick me. Family structure, etc. Are they perfect? No, not at all. However, if you look at their stats and you can just Google it, go to Wikipedia, hey, economically, they are better. Society or societal, they are better. Um, I've been around. I actually live in a community. And actually, my friend is in a chat. And, you know, we live in a community around Jewish women. They're 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 better. Please, please explain. Mokulet, I was quiet and I, I don't I understand. I just want to understand this. better. I just want to understand yes, better. Yes. Michael Jordan is better than most NBA players. There's nothing wrong with saying somebody's better at something. Um, better than black what? Better than who? They please are better at that. being wives. And whether they are pretending or not, they maintain their marriages for a long time and they maintain whatever facade. So even if it is pretending, I respect and I love the pick me. And yes, I have to agree with logic. A lot of the women are pretending. They are putting it on the front. But eventually, you the character that you are pretending to be, eventually you actually become that person. Um, I hated wearing suits when I was younger. And I was and I've and I've wore suits so long that I actually fell in love with wearing suits about 10 years ago. But because I saw the inherent power in it. But I used to hate it when I was a teenager. Like, I hate wearing suits. Ah! But now I understand it. It makes you more refined. It, it makes you walk straight. It makes you walk more dignified. And it took me years to figure that out. It hit me one day while I was wearing it. Like, oh, I understand it now. So even the pick me, she may not truly understand the essential nature of cooking and cleaning and shutting the fuck up. But eventually it will hit her when she's 27 and she's married to a damn neurosurgeon. I'm hitting out the ballpark with this one, you know, but uh, she's married to a neurosurgeon and she sees all her friends who are 27, 28 at the bar. I'm, 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 I'm just doing me. I'm free. And she's going to say, wow, these women are Jezebels. They're harlots. They're 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 unstable while I'm the stable one. So maybe me pretending or maybe me putting on a facade at first when I was 20, it worked. Maybe my mom and dad. We're right. I used to hate their guts, but now maybe they're right. Maybe that's the reason why I'm married and taken care of. Well, are you encouraging women to deceive men? No, what I am encouraging is for the younger people who are watching this, the younger generation, your generation will be the generation that will fix what we, the millennials, fucked up. And the fact is that, yes, even I, too, I used to love partying and kicking in and sleeping around. But if I can go back in time, I would have gotten married when I was younger in college. You know, all these black girls that I went to school with single from college because we all thought, oh, being single and free. And no, that destroys the fabric of a country when the people are single and frolicking around and, and having children outside of wedlock, etc. So the pick me, even though she may be pretending or she may be, it may be a facade, eventually she will fall into that role and she will become that person. You ever met somebody who's phony at work? Yeah, they may be phony for the first couple it? of years. They may be professional, but then eventually... You wonder why they get promoted and then they really start taking this stuff serious because they understand the overall picture here of maintaining a company or or, or being a C-suite executive. Yeah, maybe me pretending when I was younger as a, a lower mid manager, that was all bullshit. But now I'm in a position where I could really influence. And that and, and maybe maybe put maybe the pick me is what women really need to be. 
Um, what say you, Lady Mogulette? You, you keep yapping and cutting me off. Go ahead. What, what do you want to? What do you want to talk to me about? What do? You, what, what are you yapping about? I'm not yapping about anything. You said what you had to say, and I chimed in where I had to chime in. So if you want me to yap, I'm more than happy to yap. I'm definitely feeling yappy tonight. So what's you do up? me a favor, real quick, and I'm not trying to troll. Can you do me a favor? I, I don't know. Can Maybe. you count? No, I'm mean, listening. Can you count from twenty backwards, real quick? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. You're not as okay. All right. Okay. You've redeemed yourself with me. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Could you okay, never mind. Okay. But yeah, so that's what that's what a pick me is to me. And I and, and if you're an 18, 19, 20, 21, and then particularly if you are a college student, you have the opportunity to uh meet someone and become married. Don't listen to all these uh, rappers and, and, and these movies and this independent nonsense. You as a woman, you are supposed to be with a man. Um, it's nothing worse than seeing a 30-something plus year old cat lady drinking wine. Uh, never mind. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Wait, sorry. Wait, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, wait, wait. Hey, you? Don't listen to the rappers that preach infidelity and having all these hoes, but they marry. I'm on a new level. And that's right. the ironic yeah. part, right? Yeah. It's going to be cap real, don't okay. it? They be capping. Yeah. They yeah. always capping. Yeah. And they influence the culture more than anyone else. That's the yeah. irony of it all. Hey, hey, real quick, can I get final? Anybody want to give a final thought on this? Close yeah, up? We, I don't think only okay. two people talk, right? Oh, okay. Okay. I'll say something. I've said this before. I People called me a pygmy, then they called me a chameleon. What? Um, quite frankly, I'd rather be a chameleon because there's some trill shit. However, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. but no, I I cannot stand the idea of a chameleon. You're either submissive or you're not. You either want to be a good wife or you don't. Like I'm damn near almost forty, and for me to I'm a pick me up. Like who does that? Labels in real communication in real life relationships no one is saying hi i'm gonna pick me or hey baby i like you you will pick me like you're either a good woman or you're not and that's it and i see a lot of women that tote the name and one day i'm gonna pick me i'm gonna pick me but let's be real you don't know you're not in a relationship they can say what they would do to a man but you don't know because it could be game a lot of these women say they're pick me's because it does get a lot of likes and views and a lot of attention, but you don't know that particular woman. You don't know who she is in the house. That's just, I mean, it's just real. So damn this, are you a pick me or not? Why do you believe a man should lead? Start asking those questions. Why do you believe what you believe? And I have always said, I hear an echo. Maybe it's me. I have always said my views are traditional because I'm Christian. That's it. Why I say this on how a man should be the leader? Because God said so. Why I say that I should be a helpmate? Because God created me to be so. That's it. I am no label but God's child. And he told me how to how I'm supposed to walk in this in this life as a woman. And that's what I follow. So all this pick me in the titles, I think it's BS. You're either a good woman or you're not. You either have traditional values. You can say modern woman or not. At the end of the day, we're all modern. The, wor the world is modern. Ain't nobody here churning butter. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so, but where is your head at? Where do you think when we're in a household and I have to work because we live in a modern society, where is your head at? How do you treat your husband? And, the re and why do you treat your husband that? If they not giving you a why, that I would be rary because they're just saying it for you to like it. But if they don't believe it, if their walk doesn't wholly say it in everything they do in their actions, then I call cap. Uh -oh. And so most of the time, you will pick me and a chameleon there. Yeah, you definitely. <laughs> Go ahead, Q. And, and most of the times, who who calls who calls uh women pick me's? Women. Yeah. No, what kind of women? Women that don't want to do anything more than bare minimum. I've only heard people call, I've only heard black women call other women 
pick. Thank you, Q. Or Thank you. if Thank it's you. a man, it's a man mad because he didn't get picked by that girl. Thank you. These That's are it. These Have are you ever been called a pick me by a white woman, Courtney? You're a pick me, Courtney. I, you, you they probably no white know what girl the hell ever. that word is. You perfected um, that. Hey, hold on, hold on. How do white women sound here? I want to hear this. You ass. want me to do it? You want me to do the white girl? Yeah, yeah. How do Jewish yeah. women sound? Oh my god! They, they sound like, oh, Courtney, you're a pick me. Said okay, no white woman ever. Now. Hey, wait, I want to hear your answer. Stop it, girls. Wait. Courtney. I mean, I, I guess I might have heard it more from women saying, and I'm a pick me, and then it turned to mammy. No, have well, you heard a white woman, woman, woman that, called you a um, No, um, no just but white women word. don't call, they don't use that terminology. Exactly. Exactly. Like, exactly. White women, there's no other culture that uses the term pick me. You exactly. want to know why? Because they're taught just to be a wife. And yep. what is a good wife? Right. It ain't no, I'm a pick me. I'm not, you either a good right. woman or you not. You either exactly. good in a relationship or you not. It ain't no yeah. pick me, pick me. We don't only do that here. And mm -hmm. I, that when like you when, just when split the uprights just now, you literally what? just split the uprights. Like oh, I, that's I, why I, I don't do that term. I don't do that. I don't use the word pick me. Right. I don't like to be called it. Exactly. You call me, I don't give a shit. But I don't like that term because I'm just a woman and I have traditional exactly. views and values. That's it. That's it. But I'm I don't. Even, I don't get why I met. I've I've heard that shit before from women and men. I'm like, who am I trying to get picked from on the panel? Like, it's, hello? And not just Especially the on the late lives. Like, I hear you're picking hey, me from who? You pick me? Who Where do I want to get picked from on the late pick lives? Me, pick Ooh. me is pretend. If, 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 if what, that, I don't know. What I don't know. Pick Either pick me is pretend or pick me is intimidate women that aren't. That's not my problem. They weren't right. born to nurture and to cook to clean. That's not my right. problem. You right. Right. That I agree. Agree. Well, they are. Can I get one more point? My fault. That's how I yeah, feel. I got you. Address on it. it is what it is. What, huh? Wait, wait, hold on. Put an address on it. What? Ooh. What women are we saying? No, Who I've, we saying? I've heard it on my Hold on, hold on, hold on. For women that are demeaning to other women. Who? While trying to be chosen by men, who name them? Put what an address you? on it. Like, give me names. Like, give me Lady T Mogulette is designated well, as. I've a been called to pick me before because I I constantly I speak up in spaces. I speak up for my black men. I speak up for the things that they deal with, and Stop I speak it. I speak to the things going. that that other women do that may make and, them feel and, like they cannot necessarily trust women. Ain't or nobody ever called no pick me girl. I was about to say the same thing, Quest. Cut it out. Quest is reading my mind. What was that? I said, ain't nobody ever called you no pick me. Cut it out. Oh, I mean, <laughs> that's cute. I wish that was the case because it's annoying as fuck, but I've definitely been called to pick me. I mean, it's cute because y'all see what y'all see on this panel, but my life definitely is more than here. So anyway, like uh, I was saying before the assumptions and the inaccurate yes, assessments came in. <laughs> yeah, my, my um, I, I made some assumptions. There are, yeah, you definitely made an assumption. I feel like you but I, I just keep going. <laughs> But anyway, like I was saying, there are women that try to make it seem like doing bare minimum is like what you're supposed to do and they they, they kind of resent women that are willing to do what they want to do for their dudes and that's why they end up being called pick me all right go ahead chaotic okay oh i, I forgot to say this real quick <clears throat> i forgot who it was but somebody has said that they would rather black women be up front uh and that the whole pick me thing is uh generally what generally white women do but this is something i've noticed that white women do perfectly uh, let's use the restaurant example. When I go into a restaurant, I literally will go to the host and I will ask the host to not put me in a zone with a black waitress. Now, a lot of times it's shocking to the hostess. And the reason is, is that black women are up front when they if they have an attitude, they have an attitude and they'll show it to you. If they're upset about something, they'll show it to you. They it, 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 I, I listen, I I listen, I. This is just me. I've made live streams about this. That upfront mentality, what it does is, <clears throat> is bad for business. And so while the white woman, she may be suffering from depression 
she may be upset about something, she's going to come to your table with the smile from ear to ear. Hey, how you doing? Oh, whatever you want. Oh, 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 what's your name? Oh, oh, you want a drink? What kind of drink do you want? So she's always got that perky attitude wherever you go. But black women don't do that. If a black woman comes to your table and she if she's upset about something, yeah, we um that ain't on the menu. And it could be a fine dime. It, listen, I've been through this. So the beauty of the pick me is, is that they understand the overall business goal, uh, whether that's the marriage or whether that is the restaurant or et cetera. And black women, yes, uh, not and again, not all black women are like my example, and not all white women are perky either. But what I'm saying is, is that <clears throat> black women particularly, uh, especially if you're young, you're going to have to embrace that concept of professionalism. It doesn't matter if you're upset. I, I, we don't give a shit about that. Oh, yeah, you just raw, man. No, no man want no chick with a raw attitude. We want you to, at, listen, you may not like making sandwiches and bringing me uh, a beer, but at least pretend to do it. Make me happy. or and, and I mean me as all men. Make us happy. Pretend to do it. That is the pick me. 